also in Guru. And today I'm going to show you how to construct a pair of classic denim jeans. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is talk about the tools that you're going to need to produce your jeans. Okay? So I've, all, I've got all my tools laid out, so let's get started. So, as you can see, there's actually quite a lot of things here that you're going to need to produce your jeans. So, for example, we've got the overlock machine, we've got the sewing machine, we've got our cloth, uh, we've got our threads, and there's different colours there to choose from for the top stitching. We've got a zip here, if you're going to produce a front fly zip. We have our rivets, we've got the buttons, we've got the denim foot, scissors, paper scissors, the needles, we have here a pair of pliers to set in the buttons and the rivets, and of course we have here our pattern. So the first thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover each thing apart from the machines in detail. So the first thing, what you're going to need is a commercial pattern. Now this pattern is just a standard commercial pattern bought from any regular haberdashery store. Okay, It's from a company called McCall's and it's the classic fit range for the perfect jean. And of course we've got here the number of this pattern which is M5894. Now like I say any pattern will do as long as it's a pattern for a pair of jeans because this pattern can be manipulated to the size and the style that you want. Okay, And of course in the next video we're going to be showing you how to measure uh, and I will be able to show you how to manipulate this pattern to your measurements and then you'll be able to go out and get the correct measurements uh, or the correct pattern for your size. Okay, So that's the pattern, just a standard commercial pattern from any haberdashery store but of course it's got to be a pair of classic denim jeans. Okay, so there's your pattern. So that's the first thing you're going to need. Now, the next thing, when of course you know the size of what you are, uh, then you can manipulate how much fabric you're going to need, then of course you're going to go and buy your denim. Now, as a rule, denim comes as 60 inches wide. Okay, because a lot of fabrics which come as 45 inches are usually your uh, silks and very, very sort of floaty fabrics. Whereas the more robust or uh, thicker fabrics are always a 60 inch wide cloth. Okay, now I always go for about 2 meters. Because what it does is it gives me enough fabric and I've also got just that little bit spare as well just in case I made a mistake, because, let's face it, we all make mistakes, okay? So I always go for around about two metres. So you need your classic cotton denim cloth, okay? So I've got two metres of that. We have here also a zip. Now, of course, you're going to need, if you're going to be putting a fly front zip into your uh, jeans, instead of a button closure, of course, you need to measure the length of the zip. So again, you're going to know that within your pattern, and then you can go out and buy your zip. And of course, you need to buy the zip which corresponds colour-wise to your denim. Okay, so I've got a dark blue zip, because I'm going to be making dark blue denim jeans. Now, that brings me on to threads. Now, threads are very important, because these are going to correspond to the colour of the top stitching that you're going to be doing on your jeans. Now, if you've noticed, jeans always have a different colour top stitching to the actual jean itself. Okay? Now, you can go for a brown, or you can go for a green, if you're going to be a bit more sort of uh, elaborate uh, and fancy, you can go for a green top stitching. Or you can go for a classic off-white top stitching as well. Okay, now they're all going all to look really, really good as a top stitching. But of course, you do need your classic colour, which corresponds exactly to the colour of your jeans, because this is the colour that you're going to be overlocking the panels with. And of course, you're going to need three of these, because we're going to be doing a three-thread chain combination stitch for the overlocking. 
So threads are a very, very important part of your denim jeans because of course you're going to see the top stitching on the outside. Okay, now I'll give you a little tip as well. What I always do is when I bought my denim cloth, um, and if I don't, I don't have my cloth with me, if I'm going another day to buy the threads, what I do is I cut out a small swatch of denim from here, it's not very big, just a small piece, and I take this with me, and then I can match up the colour of the thread which is going to suit best on my cloth. Okay, so it's just a little tip, if you're going to buy your threads and your haberdashery after you've bought your cloth. Okay, so that's what I always do. So that's our threads. Now, the next part, of course, we'll go, you're going to need a pair of nice tailoring scissors to be able to cut your cloth. Okay, so you need a pair of those. You need a pair of paper scissors for your pattern. So you don't need to get these mixed up. Very important, you don't get the uh, fabric scissors mixed up with your paper scissors because if you use each for each, if for instance you're using your uh, fabric scissors to cut out your pattern, you're going to blunt them, okay, and you don't want that. So you need to have two separate pairs of scissors uh, to be able to cut the cloth and also your pattern. Now, the next thing, I'll just put these scissors out of the way, the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the buttons. Now, these are your classic denim jeans buttons, okay? So you've got a top part, and we also have here a small bottom part. And they go through the denim cloth, and they are positioned in place with a clasp.